The 23rd Psalm is one of the most beloved of all passages of Scripture. King David, who wrote the psalm, grew up and worked as a shepherd, so he knew a lot about pastures and streams and sheep and shepherding. He loved seeing the Lord as a shepherd, and he knew the shepherd's job is to care for you, to make you feel safe, nourished, calm, and peaceful. So whether your life feels peaceful tonight, your Father in heaven is the Good Shepherd and is present to love and care for you. Now leave behind today's tasks and worries and just soak in God's presence and get comfortable. Close your eyes and begin to relax. Breathe in God's peace and breathe out your troubles. Just begin to drift off. And if you fall asleep before I finish, all the better. May God be present in your dreams tonight, too. So listen as I begin your time, your voyage into sleep. You're drifting into the arms of Christ as we pray. Dear God, fill my heart and mind fresh with your presence and peace. As I sleep, may your Holy Spirit guide my dreams. Fill me with trust, O Lord, and now renew me as I rest in you and increase my faith. Make me strong for tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen. So this evening, as countless have for thousands of years before you, settle in now as the story of the 23rd Psalm transforms you. Just imagine it, lying down in a beautiful, lush, green pasture, beside a quiet, soothing stream, just not a care in the world, only feeling refreshed, feeling restored, protected, guided, even consoled and loved. Yes, there are shadows. Yes, there is darkness, but never so oppressing that it's to be feared, because God is with you. He has been, He is, and He will be yet again. Listen now to Psalm chapter 23 from the King James Version. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now listen once again as you rest even deeper from the amplified version spoken for you. The Lord is your shepherd. He is here with you, to feed you, to guide you, and to shield you. You shall not want. See his eyes for a moment, how he looks at you, the intense care 
and love in his eyes. The look that he knows everything about you yet loves you anyway. It's impossible for him to love you any more than he does right now. Just rest there. He lets you lie down in green pastures. For a moment here, feel the cool grass beneath your feet. Look up into the bright blue sky. Feel the warmth on your face. Just soak up everything that you imagine around you right now. He leads you beside the still and quiet waters. Hear it bubbling nearby, gentle, soothing. Not the torrent of rushing floodwaters you may feel at times, but stillness, quiet, refreshing water, cool water. Hear it. Smell it. Dangle your feet and toes in it. It is there to soothe you. He refreshes and restores your soul, your life. Everything broken is repaired. Anything decayed, it's revived. What is disrupted, feel it become restored. What is abandoned, feel it become recovered. What is detached, feel it become connected again and rest there now. He leads you in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Not simply wandering, but guided down a path. Being led down a well-worn path. A known path. A path chosen for you. For your eternity. For his name and for his glory. Even though you walk through the sunless valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil, for you are with him. Yes, there are shadows. Yes, there are storms. Yes, there is even the sound of distant thunder, but not sufficient to bring you fear. No storms surprise God. No thunder startles him. No shadows catch him unaware. Nothing frightens him. Rest here in his strength, present even in storms. His rod is there to protect you, his staff to guide you, to comfort and console you. Just gentle prodding, tender reminding, a rod that's feared by your enemies, but protective for you. A staff that's dreaded by those that seek to harm you, but serves to guide you from harm, to comfort you, to console you. Feel soothed now 
by your heavenly shepherd. He prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. He prepares it. The creator of the universe, the author of time, he prepares it for you. And in the presence of your enemies, God's focus is on you preparing you, providing for you. Take a moment now to sit at the table that he has prepared for you. He has anointed and refreshed your head with oil. Feel his hands on your head. Feel the oil in his hands, the oil running down from your head to dripping down your cheeks, oil mixed with tears, his tears of joy, your tears of love. Feel chosen now. Feel loved. Feel anointed your cup overflows his blessings don't fill you they overflow you feel that right now see it his blessings spilling out of your heart your mind your body and your soul surely goodness and mercy and unfailing love shall follow you all the days of your life walk along for a moment and then stop and look behind you what do you see in your mind's eye who do you see imagine seeing goodness following you see mercy walking right behind you see unfailing love following you always present always close walking in step right behind you take a moment now to listen carefully and hear their steps and you shall dwell forever throughout all of your days in the house and in the presence of the Lord dwell not just in any old place but living and staying as a permanent resident in the house and presence of God not an earthly place of sticks and mud but a heavenly palace built by the Creator and not just today but tomorrow all week every month year decade century and millennia for all time forever now rest in the green pasture by the still water rest safe from harm allow God's presence to free you to save you breathe in God's peace and breathe out your troubles as you listen to my voice and the words of this meditation let the peaceful messages flow into your mind and settle deep into your heart prayers and scriptures I will speak over you tonight 
are words of hope, life, and peace. Ask the Holy Spirit to send words of comfort through this meditation and know that his angels are here to protect you as you rest tonight. As I begin reading from Psalm 91, allow yourself to feel the security of God's covering like a soft, warm blanket. Let his gentle presence cover every fiber of your being. He is your protection and your refuge. Know that it is the Lord who keeps you safe. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. He alone is your refuge, your place of safety. He is your God, and you can trust Him. He will cover you with his feathers he will shelter you with his wings his faithful promises are your armor and your protection do not be afraid rest in his everlasting arms as i pray over you now relax and breathe deeply in and out inhale his goodness exhale your worries gracious heavenly father shelter this beloved person tonight under the shadow of your wings let their heart fully trust in you lord as you cover them and guard them from the terrors of the night surround them with your angels that they might feel completely safe and secure in Jesus' name do you feel his presence his protection his safety breathe deeply now in and out relaxing even more in the presence of God trust the Lord to send his angels to keep watch over you allow yourself to imagine guardian angels in the room with you they are there to protect you so that you can rest easily feel the warmth of the covers and the softness of the pillow as you sink deeper into peaceful relaxation now listen as i read these beautiful words from psalm 91 if you make the lord your refuge if you make the most high your shelter no evil will conquer you no plague will come near your home for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go do you believe that Do you believe with all your heart that God will order his angels to protect you? He loves you, and you can rest fully in that truth. Holy God, please give this person, your cherished loved one, perfect rest. Help them to make you their refuge and their shelter. Give them comfort. Give them comfort to know that no bad thing will come near their home. Help them sense that your angels are watching over them tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. As I share even more from Psalm 91, try to pace your breathing. Breathe in and exhale slowly. Breathe in and breathe out allow yourself to drift off to sleep in perfect peace where the Lord says I will rescue those who love me I will protect those who trust in my name 
when you call on me I will answer I will be with you in trouble God is with you he will rescue you from every trouble every hardship every difficult situation when you love him trust him and call on his name yes he will be with you feel his presence his spirit lives in you his son Jesus has saved you he is your God Heavenly Father be with your loved one tonight with every breath they take let them know you are with them let them know that your spirit dwells in their spirit and let them be assured that the blood of your son has made them clean whole and restored thank you Lord for protecting them tonight in your presence and by the covering of your angels in Jesus's name as I share this final portion of Psalm 91 sink even deeper into the safety and protection that the Lord offers you tonight his loving arms are around you he is keeping you safe he is with you I will rescue and honor you says the Lord I will reward you with a long life and give you my salvation the peace of knowing you have honor long life and salvation is a perfect peace that allows you to rest fully in the Lord he is trustworthy and true feel his presence now as you breathe in and out breathe in the warmth of God's embrace exhale your exhaustion letting it go as you drift into God's land of protection thank you Lord for rewarding your servant with honor and long life bless them tonight giving them peaceful rest assuring them of the salvation they have in your son Jesus for it is in his name that I pray now as I turn to Psalm 103 let your mind turn to thoughts of deep sleep you are at perfect rest tonight breathe in and out sinking deeper into the bed letting your entire body relax let every part of you praise the Lord may you never forget the good things he has done for you he forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases what a beautiful reminder of the good things God has done for you he longs to give you good things receive his goodness do you feel the goodness of his presence he has sent angels to protect you and it is good confess your sins before the Lord he forgives all of your iniquities thank him praise him he heals all of your ailments receive his healing touch his comforts his provisions breathe deeply of his spirit relax settle your mind and heart on his goodness gracious God please bless this person tonight with good things 
that they will not forget what you have done for them you have forgiven them let them know they are forgiven tonight you have healed them let them feel completely healed by your touch thank you Lord for giving your beloved such wonderful gifts in Jesus' name now as I continue in Psalm 103 relax and breathe in and out again in and out letting your mind settle on the comforting words of the scripture God's words his truth his ways he redeems you from death and crowns you with love and tender mercies he fills your life with good things receive those good things from the hand of the father for he has redeemed you breathe in and out and let your heart praise him for redeeming your life his tender mercies are new every morning he has crowned you with love and mercy feel the crown of love that he has placed on your head he fills your life with goodness so embrace those wonderful blessings that you have received from his hand holy God thank you so much for showering your loved one with blessings please continue to crown them with good things let them know you are in the room you are in their heart your angels are all around protecting guarding covering in Jesus's holy name and now as I close with our final verses from Psalm 103 rest in perfect peace tonight breathing in and out in and out fully relaxed and at peace your youth is renewed like the Eagles the Lord gives righteousness and justice to you righteousness and justice let those words sink deeply into your mind your heart your soul God's righteousness peace and life are given to you tonight relax sleep dream of God's goodness you will awaken renewed by the Lord himself ready to face the day with strength and vitality breathe deeper now fully relaxed completely at ease relax you can know that you are protected release you can know that you are loved refresh you can sleep in perfect peace you can dream of God's goodness righteousness and provision Lord God surround this cherished person with your loving presence in peace and holiness cover them as your angels protect them help them rest deeply and sleep through the night help them to sense your loving kindness and goodness as they dream 
in Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. Psalm 1 Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Psalm 23, a Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever Psalm 27, a psalm of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear though war should rise against me in this will I be confident one thing have I desired of the Lord that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple for in the time of trouble He shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord hear O Lord when I cry with my voice have mercy also upon me and answer me when thou saidest seek ye my face my heart said unto thee thy face Lord will I seek hide not thy face far from me put not thy servant away in anger thou hast been my help leave me not neither forsake me O God of my salvation when my father and my mother forsake me then the Lord will take me up teach me thy way O Lord and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies for false witnesses are risen up against me and such as breathe out cruelty I had fainted 
unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalm 35, a Psalm of David. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler, and stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear, and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net that he hath hid catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord, it shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, which deliverest the poor from him that is too strong for him? Yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. False witness did rise up. They laid to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer returned into mine own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourneth for his mother. But in mine adversity they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yea, the abjects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me and ceased not, with hypocritical mockers and feasts, They gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long wilt thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling from the lions. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they opened their mouth wide against me, and said, Aha, aha, our eye hath seen it. This thou hast seen. O Lord, keep not silence. O Lord, be not far from me. Stir up thyself and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord, my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so would we have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. 
Psalm 37, a Psalm of David. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good, so thou shalt dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for evildoers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be, yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotteth against the just, and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him. For he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow. To cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume into smoke, shall they consume away. The wicked borroweth and payeth not again, but the righteous showeth mercy and giveth. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young, and now am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread? He is ever merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed Depart from evil and do good, and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment, and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever. But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land, and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. The wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it 
I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together, the end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Psalm 51 To the Chief Musician A Psalm of David have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest behold i was shapen in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me behold thou desirest truth in the inward parts and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall shew forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God thou wilt not despise do good in thy good pleasure unto zion build thou the walls of jerusalem then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness with burnt offering and whole burnt offering then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar psalm 91 he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flieth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee 
Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. Psalm 119 Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect to unto all thy commandments i will praise thee with uprightness of heart when i shall have learned thy righteous judgments i will keep thy statutes O oh, forsake me not utterly wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word with my whole heart have i sought thee O oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O oh Lord. Teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. Deal bountifully with thy servant that I may live and keep thy word. Open thou mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. I am a stranger in the earth. Hide not thy commandments from me. My soul breaketh for the longing that it hath unto thy judgments at all times. Thou hast rebuked the proud that are cursed, which do err from thy commandments. Remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept thy testimonies. Princes also did sit and speak against me, but thy servant did meditate in thy statutes. Thy testimonies also are my delight and my counselors my soul cleaveth unto the dust quicken thou me according to thy word I have declared my ways and thou heardest me teach me thy statutes make me to understand the way of thy precepts so shall I talk of thy wondrous works my soul melteth for heaviness strengthen thou me according unto thy word remove from me the way of lying and grant me thy law graciously i have chosen the way of truth thy judgments have i laid before me i have stuck unto thy testimonies O lord put me not to shame i will run the way of thy commandments when thou shalt enlarge my heart Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it unto the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. 
Yea, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. Incline my heart unto thy testimonies, and not to covetousness. Turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity, and quicken thou me in thy way. Establish thy word unto thy servant, who is devoted to thy fear. Turn away my reproach, which I fear, for thy judgments are good. Behold, I have longed after thy precepts. Quicken me in thy righteousness. Let thy mercies come also unto me, O Lord, even thy salvation according to thy word. So shall I have wherewith to answer him that reproacheth me. For I trust in thy word, and take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for I have hoped in thy judgments. So shall I keep thy law continually for ever and ever. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. I will speak of thy testimonies also before kings, and will not be ashamed. And I will delight myself in thy commandments, which I have loved. My hands also will I lift up unto thy commandments, which I have loved. And I will meditate in thy statutes. Remember the word unto thy servant, upon which thou hast caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, for thy word hath quickened me. The proud have had me greatly in derision. Yet have I not declined from thy law. I remembered thy judgments of old, O Lord, and have comforted myself. Horror hath taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake thy law. Thy statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I have remembered thy name, O Lord, in the night, and have kept thy law. This I had, because I kept thy precepts. Thou art my portion, O Lord. I have said that I would keep thy words. I entreated thy favor with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to thy word. I thought on my ways, and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten thy law. At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgments. I am a companion of all them that fear thee and of them that keep thy precepts. The earth, O Lord, is full of thy mercy. Teach me thy statutes. Thou hast dealt well with thy servant, O Lord, according unto thy word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I have believed thy commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now have I kept thy word. Thou art good and doest good. Teach me thy statutes. The proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep thy precepts with my whole heart. Their heart is as fat as grease, but I delight in thy law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. The law of thy mouth is better unto me than thousands of gold and silver. Thy hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn thy commandments. They that fear thee will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in thy word. I know, O Lord, that thy judgments are right, and that thou in faithfulness hast afflicted me. Let, I pray thee, thy merciful kindness be for my comfort, according to thy word unto thy servant. Let thy tender mercies come unto me, that I may live, for thy law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed, for they dealt perversely with me without a cause. But I will meditate in thy precepts. Let those that fear thee turn unto me, and those that have known thy testimonies. Let my heart be sound in thy statutes, 
that I be not ashamed. My soul fainteth for thy salvation, but I hope in thy word. Mine eyes fail for thy word, saying, When wilt thou comfort me? For I am become like a bottle in the smoke. Yet do I not forget thy statutes? How many are the days of thy servant? When wilt thou execute judgment on them that persecute me? The proud have digged pits for me, which are not after thy law. All thy commandments are faithful. They persecute me wrongfully. Help thou me. They had almost consumed me upon earth, but I forsook not thy precepts. Quicken me after thy loving kindness, so shall I keep the testimony of thy mouth. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. Thou hast established the earth, and it abideth. They continue this day according to thine ordinances, for all are thy servants. Unless thy law had been my delights, I should then have perished in mine affliction. I will never forget thy precepts, for with them thou hast quickened me. I am thine. Save me, for I have sought thy precepts. The wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider thy testimonies. I have seen an end of all perfection, but thy commandment is exceeding broad. Oh, how I love thy law! It is my meditation all the day. Thou through thy commandments hast made me wiser than mine enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers. For thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep thy precepts. I have refrained my feet from every evil way, that I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have sworn, and I will perform it, that I will keep thy righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according unto thy word, except I beseech thee the freewill offerings of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me thy judgments. My soul is continually in my hand, yet do I not forget thy law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I erred not from thy precepts. Thy testimonies have I taken as a heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes alway, even unto the end. I hate vain thoughts, but thy law do I love. Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. Depart from me, ye evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according unto thy word that I may live, and let me not be ashamed of my hope. Hold thou me up, and I shall be safe, and I will have respect unto thy statutes continually. Thou hast trodden down all them that err from thy statutes, for their deceit is falsehood. Thou puttest away all the wicked of the earth like dross. Therefore I love thy testimonies. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgments. I have done judgment and justice. Leave me not to mine oppressors. Be surety for thy servant for good. Let not the proud oppress me. Mine eyes fail for thy salvation and for the word of thy righteousness. Deal with thy servant according unto thy mercy and teach me thy statutes. I am thy servant. Give me understanding that I may know thy testimonies. 
it is time for thee lord to work for they have made void thy law therefore i love thy commandments above gold yea above fine gold therefore i esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right and i hate every false way thy testimonies are wonderful therefore doth my soul keep them the entrance of thy words giveth light it giveth understanding unto the simple i opened my mouth and panted for i longed for thy commandments look thou upon me and be merciful unto me as thou dost usest to do unto those that love thy name order my steps in thy word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me deliver me from the oppression of man so will i keep thy precepts make thy face to shine upon thy servant and teach me thy statutes rivers of waters run down mine eyes because they keep not thy law righteous art thou o lord and upright are thy judgments thy testimonies that thou hast commanded are righteous and very faithful my zeal hath consumed me because mine enemies have forgotten thy words thy word is very pure therefore thy servant loveth it i am small and despised yet do not i forget thy precepts thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth trouble and anguish have taken hold on me yet thy commandments are my delights the righteousness of thy testimonies is everlasting give me understanding and i shall live i cried with my whole heart hear me o lord i will keep thy statutes i cried unto thee save me and i shall keep thy testimonies i prevented the dawning of the morning and cried i hoped in thy word mine eyes prevent the night watches that i might meditate in thy word hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness o lord quicken me according to thy judgment they draw nigh that follow after mischief they are far from the law thou art near o lord and all thy commandments are truth concerning thy testimonies i have known of old that thou hast founded them forever consider mine affliction and deliver me for i do not forget thy law plead my cause and deliver me quicken me according to thy word salvation is far from the wicked for they seek not thy statutes great are thy tender mercies o lord quicken me according to thy judgments many are my persecutors and mine enemies yet do i not decline from thy testimonies i beheld the transgressors and was grieved because they kept not thy word consider how i love thy precepts quicken me o lord according to thy loving kindness thy word is true from the beginning and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever princes have persecuted me without a cause but my heart standeth in awe of thy word i rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil i hate and abhor lying but thy law do i love seven times a day do i praise thee because of thy righteous judgments great peace have they which love thy law and nothing shall offend them lord i have hoped for thy salvation and done thy commandments my soul hath kept thy testimonies and i love them exceedingly i have kept thy precepts and thy testimonies for all my ways are before thee let me cry come near before thee o lord give me understanding according to thy word 
let my supplication come before thee deliver me according to thy word my lips shall utter praise when thou hast taught me thy statutes my tongue shall speak of thy word for all thy commandments are righteousness let thine hand help me for I have chosen thy precepts I have longed for thy salvation O Lord and thy law is my delight let my soul live and it shall praise thee and let thy judgments help me I have gone astray like a lost sheep seek thy servant for I do not forget thy commandments Psalm 121 a song of degrees I will lift mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help my help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth he will not suffer thy foot to be moved he that keepeth thee will not slumber behold he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep the Lord is thy keeper the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand the Sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night the Lord shall preserve thee from all evil he shall preserve thy soul the Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore Psalm 139 to the chief musician a psalm of David O Lord thou hast searched me and known me thou knowest my downsitting and mine uprising thou understandest my thought afar off thou compassest my path and my lying down and art acquainted with all my ways for there is not a word on my tongue for there is not a word in my tongue but lo O Lord thou knowest it altogether thou hast beset me behind and before and laid thine hand upon me such knowledge is too wonderful for me it is high I cannot attain unto it whither shall I go from thy spirit or whither shall I flee from thy presence if I ascend up into heaven thou art there if I make my bed in hell behold thou art there if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea even there shall thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me if I say surely the darkness shall cover me even the night shall be light about me yea the darkness hideth not from thee but the night shineth as the day the darkness and the light are both alike to thee for thou hast possessed my reins thou hast covered me in my mother's womb I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made marvelous are thy works and that my soul knoweth right well my substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth thine eyes did see my substance yet being unperfect and in thy book all my members were written which in continuance were fashioned when as yet there was none of them how precious also are thy thoughts unto me O God how great is the sum of them if I should count them they are more in number than the sand when I awake I am still with thee surely thou will slay the wicked O God depart from me therefore ye bloody men for they speak against thee wickedly and thine enemies take thy name in vain do not I hate them O Lord that hate thee and am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee I hate them with perfect hatred 
I count them mine enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. 